So I was sitting there pondering what my next YouTube video should be, thinking long and hard how I could entertain y'all and also figure out how to get my YouTube play button. Out of nowhere, my computer woke from her deep slumber. Hey, Dingleberry, she said. Confused that my computer somehow gained artificial intelligence, I said, what? Your YouTube channel just hit 100 subscribers. No way, I shouted. Does this mean I get my YouTube play button? With a look of concern in her webcam, she said, Don't be a buffoon. You don't get a YouTube play button until you reach 100,000 subscribers. Regardless, I was very excited and wanted to go tell my mom. And remembered, she lives in China. I must make one, I exclaimed as I went to collect my craft supplies and get to work. I just finished editing that and I hope you guys think it's as funny as I do anyways so here is the finished product I know that you don't get a play button for getting a hundred subscribers however that's a milestone for me I remember like a year ago I think I was at 27 subscribers and that just means a lot to me and so I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel you guys are really like making me so happy. You can ask my girlfriend. I was just so ecstatic when I met 100 subscribers. It's, uh, it just really means that the effort that I put into making these videos, people want to watch. And that makes me really happy because I love to entertain. So what do you think? Should we take play button goes here down and put our 100 subscriber play button right there? I think we should. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm going to try and do weekly videos. That's my goal for right now because it's quarantine. What else are we gonna do? Anyways guys, thank you for joining me and welcome to my life. See ya.